Let's look at the titration of a strong acid with a strong base. Our strong acid, HCl, and our strong base, NaOH. HCl, the strong acid, totally dissociates in water. In fact, that's the definition of strong acid, totally dissociates in water. NaOH totally dissociates in water. That's a strong base. If I titrate an HCl solution with 0.1 molar NaOH, I get this titration curve. The question is, how does the titration curve change if I titrate with 0.2 molar NaOH? Does it look like A, B, or C? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, a higher OH minus concentration means an initially higher pH and final pH. B, the initial pH is unchanged, but the final pH is higher due to the higher OH concentration of the base. Or C, the initial and final pHs are about the same, but the equivalence point is reached in half the volume. Think about those three and make a selection. We're talking about titrating HCl, a strong acid, with two different strong base solutions. One, 0.1 molar, and then doing it again with 0.2 molar strong base. The question is, how does that second 0.2 molar pH curve look? Well, the initial HCl concentration is the same. So I'm titrating the same acid solution. So the starting point is the same. So A is out already. As I add base, if I'm adding base that's twice as concentrated, then I'll use up the acid twice as fast. So I'll reach the equivalence point with half the volume of base. So here's half the volume of base. This is where the equivalence point will be, instead of here, as with the 0.1 molar base. So the new pH curve will look like this, an equivalence point twice as early in half the volume, and that's selection C. The correct answer here is C.